Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Aditya, and I'm doing my final year engineering in Chennai. Um, though I'm a Hindu, I have been having this uh, question about Islam that I wanted to ask, and no better a person than Dr. Zakir Naik. Uh, as you said in your speak many times, the Holy Quran was written 1400 years ago and is considered the most worthy and the latest revelation given by Allah. So I have two questions to you. Allah, who knows all, why didn't he give his best of revelation the first time itself to the first of messengers? And why did God take so many times to give his best of knowledge? And my second question which is related to this is, even before the Holy Quran was written, that is 1400 years ago, human beings had lived in the earth for thousands of years. So why did Allah the most merciful didn't give them that best knowledge which he has given us for the last 1400 years? Thank you. The brother asked a very good question, very relevant question. Two questions, both the questions overlapping the answers. He said that why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give this last and final revelation 1400 years ago why not in day one when you mean me were there and second part which is a part of the same question that what about the people who lived before 14 years ago they were deprived of the quran so if allah is most merciful most gracious most beneficent so isn't it that the people earlier before 14 years were deprived very good question to reply a question my son he tells me that Abba, father, you want me to become a doctor? Why do you put me in nursery, first standard, second standard, then school, then college? Why don't you put me into medical college directly? <laughs> if I want my son to become a medical doctor, I don't have to put him into the medical college directly. I have to first make the ground very clear. First he goes into the pre-primary school, then goes into the school, first standard onwards on passes school, then goes to the higher school, then college, and when he's fit, then he enters the medical college. Similarly, Almighty God, who has knowledge of the unseen, has knowledge of everything, he even has knowledge of the human beings. So, it is mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Rad, chapter number 13, verse number 38, Allah says, that we have sent a revelation in every age, in every period. By name, four are mentioned in the Quran. Torah, Zabur, Injil, and the Quran. But there were several revelations sent. The first revelation, Almighty God knew that the human beings had to develop. If he would have revealed the Quran at the first time, at the time of Adam, peace be upon him, he knew the human beings won't be able to grasp it. That is the reason in the revelation that came before the Quran, that is the Injil. Today we have the Bible. Though we don't consider the Bible to be the Injil, but some parts of the Bible may be the Word of God. It's mentioned in the Bible, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 20 to 14. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the Spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall show you the way to come. He shall glorify me. So here, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he knew, but yet he said that you will not be able to grasp it. Therefore, when the last and final messenger will come, he will show you things to come. So similarly, Almighty God, he knew very well that when is the right time for the human beings to receive the last and final revelation of the Quran, and that was about 1400 years ago. As far as the second part of the question is concerned, what about the people that came before the Quran was revealed? I will tell them that if my son goes to standard one, he will not be given the medical question paper. He'll be given the question paper of standard one. If he goes to higher school, he'll be given the question of higher school. Then junior college, fine? So similarly, the basic message of Almighty God in all the scriptures, in all the revelations, from the first revelation till the last revelation, Quran was the same, that you have to believe in one God, that you have to worship him and no one else. So all the messengers, right from the first messenger, Adam, peace be upon him, right down to Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all, all of them taught the basic message of oneness of God and about Tawheed. And about this message of oneness of God and Tawheed, inshallah, I'll be discussing in detail on the last day of this conference, on the last Sunday, that's the 20th of January, inshallah. Hope that answers the question.